It's 20 past 11. Just a quick follow up from yesterday's daily vlog and my rabies vaccination. Well, didn't actually get the vaccination. Here's the reason why. So first of all, it was, as you saw, it wasn't quarter past 11. It ended up being like 10 past 12 before I got in. So I was already kind of a little bit annoyed at the wait, but when I finally did get in and speak to a doctor, she went through the whole process and asked me what it was for and, and why I was doing it. And then she explained how you get rabies. It's actually kind of rare that you can get it from a bat, but she said that it has happened. And so there's precaution. This is a precautionary measure. Um, she said, are you allergic to anything? And I said her no, except for needles, which was a joke because she told me that it involved three different needles. So then she went to get the prescription and said she has one here possibly. If not, I've got to go and purchase it from a chemist. That's fine. She came back and said, no, we don't have it here anymore. We no longer keep it. So you'll have to go and purchase it from a chemist. Okay, cool. No worries. Three different doses. Each one of these was going to cost me $116. So I made the decision to not do it. So for 300 and what, 340 bucks odd to get vaccinated for rabies possibly that I might not get from, from handling a bat. And mind you, on this workaways, it only specifies if you want to handle the animals, you have to be vaccinated. So I just won't handle the animals. But I did think smart about it and I asked her, what would be, let's say I did get bitten by a bat and I did think I might have conducted rabies. I had the frothing on the mouth and whatnot what would be the treatment? How much would the treatment cost? And she said, well, you'd go to the hospital and it would be free. So the odds of getting it are very slim. The cost involved in vaccinating yourself on the odd chance you do get it, very expensive. Everything led to me saying, look, I just won't touch the animals. I'll send a message um, to the guys up there and say, look, I'm not going to be handling the animals. I'm, I'm not going to spend 300 bucks on a vaccination when it's, you know, probably not really going to happen so that's my decision and i'm yeah it, it's all right i thought i mean why is it that expensive i don't i don't know if they're trying to protect people from getting this then it shouldn't be that expensive but it's just the way it is so rabies come at me well no if i don't handle the animals i don't think i'll i don't think it'll be a problem the other news for today, well, not today, actually, tomorrow. Uh, well, should I tell you about it today then? Uh, nah. Well, I, I can mention it anyway. Going back a few days when I was talking about my Instagram and using Instagram more to draw traffic to YouTube, I've made the decision, and I think I, I think I spoke about half deciding it, but as this four minute thing cuts itself off, I think I didn't actually come to a conclusion. But anyway, tomorrow we have a Thrill Seekers mission down to the Helensburg Tunnels to do some really cool um, photos and videos. And I've made a decision, I'm gonna shoot, there's two models that are coming, I'm gonna shoot the models. I'm going to basically do it with available light. Oh, wait, 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 no, it's in a tunnel. I'm gonna bring an LED light and I'm gonna shoot constant light. I'm gonna shoot video piece. I'm gonna shoot still photos, I'm gonna put the photos on my Instagram, I'm gonna link it back to my YouTube to draw people in. That's that's the decision I've made. Um, should be interesting, I've never really shot, well I have shot, but I've always uh, 